and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Have you ever heard of black holes? They are some of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe. If you want to know more about their existence and physical form, then stay tuned and watch this episode. In this video, we are finally going to honor my studio background. We are going to explore what black holes are, how they form and discuss some of the incredible phenomena and questions associated with them. So, let's kick off today's episode with the question, what is a black hole? A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Black holes are formed when massive stars die and collapse in on themselves or when two or more smaller black holes merge together. Black holes can range in size from a few times the mass of our Sun to billions of times the mass of our Sun. And they are invisible to the naked eye because nothing can escape their gravity, so they do not emit any light or radiation. They can only be detected by observing the effects of their gravity on nearby matter, such as the way stars orbit around them. How do black holes form? When a massive star runs out of fuel, it can no longer generate heat and pressure to keep its core from collapsing. The core then collapses under the force of gravity, creating a black hole. The more massive the star, the greater the gravitational force and the more massive the black hole it can form. What is the event horizon? The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. It's the point of no return for anything that gets too close. Anything that crosses the event horizon is lost forever to the black hole's gravitational pull. What is the Schwarzschild radius? The Schwarzschild radius is a term used in physics and astronomy that refers to the distance from the center of a non-rotating black hole at which the escape velocity is equal to the speed of light. In other words, it is the radius at which the gravitational pull of a black hole becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. The Schwarzschild radius is named after the German physicist Karl Schwarzschild, who was the first to solve Einstein's field equations of general relativity for a non-rotating black hole. The Schwarzschild radius is an important concept in astrophysics because it sets the boundary of the event horizon of a black hole. What happens inside a black hole? We can't see inside a black hole because no light can escape from it. But scientists have developed theories about what might be happening inside. One theory is that the matter that falls into a black hole is compressed to a singularity, which is a point of infinite density. Another theory is that the matter is stretched out into a long, thin strand called a spaghettification because of the extreme tidal forces near the black hole. What is the relationship between black holes and time? One of the most fascinating aspects of black holes is their effect on time. Near a black hole, time appears to slow down. This is known as time dilation and it occurs because of the intense gravitational pull of the black hole. The stronger the gravitational field, the greater the time dilation. This means that time would appear to pass more slowly for an observer near a black hole than for someone far away from it. The center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is believed to contain a supermassive black hole. The black hole, known as Sagittarius A star, has a mass of about 4 million times that of our Sun and is located about 26,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Sagittarius. Evidence for the existence of Sagittarius A star was first observed in the 1990s through observations of the motions of stars in the galactic center. These stars were observed to be orbiting around an invisible object with a mass millions of times greater than our Sun. This led scientists to conclude that there must be a supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way. Since then, additional observations of the galactic center have provided further evidence for the existence of Sagittarius A star. For example, observations of the radio emissions coming from the center of the galaxy have revealed a compact radio source that is consistent with a black hole. And then, finally, the first picture of the black hole of our galaxy has been taken in the year 2022 
and has stunned astrophysicists and space enthusiasts around the world. If you want to dive deeper into the black hole of our galaxy, then watch the video at the end of this episode. There are plenty of Hollywood movies about black holes, but my favorite of all times is Interstellar. Interstellar is a science fiction film directed by Christopher Nolan. The movie is set in a dystopian future where Earth is facing a global crop blight and the human population is struggling to survive. The plot follows the journey of a team of astronauts who are sent on a mission throughout a wormhole in search of a new habitable planet for humanity. The movie explores themes such as time dilation, black holes and the nature of human existence. The astronauts encounter various challenges and obstacles on their journey, including the effects of time dilation on their loved ones back on Earth, the dangers of exploring new planets and the mysterious nature of a black hole. Interstellar is a visually stunning and thought-provoking film that blends science fiction with human drama, exploring some of the biggest questions about the universe and our place in it. Interstellar is a movie worth watching. So that's what we know about black holes. They're some of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe and scientists are still learning more about them every day. Who knows what other secrets they hold. If there are some groundbreaking new discoveries about black holes, you're the first to know from Alex SpaceX Talks. Thank you for watching and see you soon in my next video. Ciao.